Good morning. Welcome to What is Van Life. It is about 8 a.m. We've um, stayed at Conungra Showgrounds last night. We're going to be here for the weekend. Hunger again. We couldn't get down by the water this time, but we're kind of bit in bush now. We're going to reverse up of this back lane here. We're not very level we're going to put the blocks under the one side that we need to be lifted up so we're not all skew with oh. whoa <laughs> you're over <laughs> oops well, <I'm... laughs> yeah <laughs> so this is not what to do <laughs> i can't you're gonna have to go forward again. Just go for. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not performing my duties. <laughs> Under we go. Right now, I've got to tell him when to stop, which is not what I've just done. So here we go. All right, go. <laughs> well. So here we are. We're set up. We're on the blocks. Should be relatively level or level enough. Yeah. So this is our camp for today and tonight. This is Conungra Sports and Recreation Ground. Here we've got the remnants of a fire pit, so we can maybe make that a bit better. Have a fire and find some wood. We've got the view of the water and some very sleepy cows. So as Alison was saying, we've got a place at Canunga Showgrounds, which is uh, probably 25 to 30 kilometres west of the Gold Coast in Queensland. Um, that's us over there, you can see. Uh, we've managed to get a spot behind the uh, rodeo arena. They have a rodeo event annually here. Um, obviously this year it was cancelled because of the COVID. That's all where the uh, horses and the bulls go. It's pretty good though. It's a pretty good event. We've been a few times. They have a lot of powered sites here as well. I think powered is, I think, is $17 each. And unpowered is $11 each. Um, so it's all right for, for us to come out here for a weekend. We don't mind paying that. Behind all those trees over there is uh, like a bush camping area. You can see a couple over there that uh, amongst the trees. It's quite big. I'll probably film a bit later. That's where we parked last week, right next to the creek. Um, in this video, you'll obviously see some of that footage, I dare say. And um, yeah, anyway, we're over there. We don't need power, obviously, because uh, we have all that lovely blue sky up there that charges our solar up. Got this awesome tree near our campsite with the roots. I forget what these trees are called, but you get them a lot bigger than this. This is just a baby one. The camera doesn't really do it justice, the size of it. So I'll just go and see what she's up to. Bound to be up to mischief. Oh, she heard me. I'm taking this uh, opportunity to uh, clean the cupboard up. <laughs> because it's a mess. There's stuff everywhere. Well, it's pretty tidy. It's so disorganised, I cannot stand it. So. <laughs> I've already done the top shelf. <laughs> 
on your knees. What? <laughs> this is what happens when you live in a van. Yeah, things tend to get upside down quite quickly. Maybe thus it does because we just. Uh, no, it's not me actually. It's him. Yeah, I knew you were going to say just that. He shoves things in the cupboard. And no, quickly, listen. This is a man thing. Quickly closes the door so it doesn't fall out. But then when I open the cupboard door, it falls out. But well, that didn't so, fall out. You brought that out. <laughs> Look at this. We have we have dog treats. Look at this. <laughs> Only in Australia do you get kangaroo tails. They actually dog taste treats. quite nice. <laughs> but mm. as you know, or as you probably don't know. We don't even have a dog, but we know people that have dogs, so we have treats. <laughs> Still she goes. <laughs> She's not giving up, it's relentless. I'm having to rearrange because it's just too packed everywhere. I've got to say, Wattie, that cover's looking nice and neat. Oh. It wasn't like that when I did it. That's what I, I mean, <laughs> I'm putting them up there. These white plastic containers are the bane of my life because they don't fit anywhere. Chuck them in the bin. <laughs> we need them. <laughs> So it's all about having a rejig. But the only trouble when I rejig, then Mark can't find anything. That's, well, it. That's his excuse, isn't it? I'm okay because I've actually got it on film. <laughs> you can use it as reference. <laughs> right. First ever film of me doing any cooking. <laughs> I've settled myself with the bacon. I'm not very trusting of you, mate. I haven't got any food. Don't look at me like that. No. You got a bit of bread on your beak. Take it out of my hand. Really, really gentle. You going? No. We're going to make a fire pit, so we need to make a, a fire ring out of some of the rocks. There is a few up there by the, the camp already, but we need a few more just to make it a little bit higher. So yeah, there he goes, looking for rocks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what happened to me! <laughs> <laughs> Gravity is a bitch. <laughs> you have to carry him up one by one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! You wanted to retrieve that one. You've got to throw him harder. There you go. <laughs> a little pile of rocks, soon to be a fire pit. Some wood collected from the land across the creek the last of the rocks let's make a fire pit
It's very colourful. <laughs> Just like yourself, Mrs. <laughs> Watty. Can you die? <laughs> So we heard some rustling in the bushes above us. There's this possum walking around. <laughs> Might be a bit fuzzy, I'll have to zoom in to find him. Yeah, there's another one there. There's a couple. <laughs> <laughs> 